and locked. And now what I have is some surfaces locked between the two uh, curves. I'll go to smooth shade all so you can get a good look at how this uh, curved surface is created using the two curves here. What I want to do is select that top curve that I just had and that's called nerves uh, curve something and then I'm going to duplicate that and then I'll scale it out a bit so I have a curve that's still on that line on, on the surface and then I've duplicated one and pulled one out and now I'm going to duplicate that one and duplicate it then I'll bring this one up to make kind of the lid uh, top thickness of the lid then I'm going to do the same thing uh, I'm going to duplicate again uh, that curve again and from duplicating that curve uh, I'll well I'm going to pull this back down a little bit until I kind of work it and get it the right size or the right height and I'll duplicate that and now I'm going to scale that duplicate in a little bit. This is going to be the lip or the drop down portion. And then while I have that still selected, I'll go in and duplicate it one more time. Down, and then I'm going to use Move Tool and bring that duplicate down some. So now what I've created is a network of curves that will kind of outline the surface that I'm trying to create. The way I'll go about doing this is I'm going to select all the, the, the various curves and loft between those. I'm going to move to a two pane side by side and I will go on the one that is side view and make it a perspective. So I have two perspective views here. The first one I'll go to none and then I'm going to go to nerve surfaces. So what it's doing here in that show is only showing things that we want to show in that window. And on the right side here I'm going to use nerve curves and so I can see as I develop these um, curves into lofts how they work out. I'm going to click the first curve hold on shift key, click the second, go to surfaces, log, and off to the left you can see how that affected. So I'm going to click the outside, the other outside, up top, and I'm now going to uh, do a loft between those two shapes. And you can see how that pops up. Now I want to go in and create the, the lip, and so I'm clicking these two pieces, and I'm doing a loft. Now I want to select the top inside and hold the shift key down and hit the bottom inside. I don't know if I got that right. Let me do that again. And shift key and click the bottom. Now I have them both highlighted. I'll go to loft. And so you see how that has turned out. Now I have this kind of a rounded lip or top that goes on to this um, jack-in-the-box looking uh, uh, container here. Now what I want to do is to attach these surfaces. So I'm going to click on the surface, not on the line, and I'm click on the second surface going up, and I'll go down to <coughs> Edit Nerves. I'm going to attach surfaces and I'm going to go to the options. I'll reset it and I'll take off Keep Originals and I'll be using Blend. And so by doing Blend you can see that I get kind of a rounded uh, setup there. I'm going to click the second one and the third one and I'll do the same thing. Attach surfaces. Now I'm going to hit the uh, one at the 
inside. <coughs> and then I'm just going to go to tat surfaces. And what will happen is that surface is going to bounce up instead of folding down like it should. But the way I can remedy that is to go into my inputs for that surface and I'm going to change my um, my uh, settings for uh, 